solve this first equation, we can subtract 1 from both sides and get 2x equals 3x minus 6. Next, we can subtract negative 2x from both sides to keep our x variable positive. So I'll have 0 equals x minus 6. Be really careful at this step. You know positive 2x and negative 2x sum to 0, so we need to make sure we have a place value over here. So if this left side is 0, that must mean x would have to equal positive 6, since 6 minus 6 does make 0. We also see that by just adding 6 to both sides. So 6 is equal to x, or x is equal to 6. For the right equation, we want to distribute the negative 1 first. So we'll have 2x plus 1 equals negative 3x plus 5. I'm going to move my x terms to one side by adding 3x. This also gives me a positive x variable on the left. So 5x plus 1 is equal to 5, and then we can subtract 1 to get 5x is equal to 4. We divide both sides by 5 to get x is equal to 4 fifths. So here's my solution set. x could equal 4 fifths, or x could equal 6. Either one of these would work. Let's make sure. We can check this first x value by plugging it in for x. 2 times 4 fifths is 8 fifths, and then I can just change 1 to 5 divided by 5. So this makes 13 fifths on the left side. Notice that I still have absolute value the entire way down my problem. Now I'm going to take the absolute value of this number, and I get positive 13 fifths. That's the distance from 0. For the right-hand side, I'll have 3 times 4 fifths, which is 12 fifths, and then I'm going to change negative 5 into negative 25 fifths. This term is still really negative 5. I subtract my fractions, and I get negative 13 fifths, or the absolute value of negative 13 fifths. The absolute value is always positive, so 13 fifths is equal to 13 fifths. So yes, this checks. I can do the same for the positive 6. I'll substitute it in for x to check my equation. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13. And notice I still have the absolute value. So the absolute value of positive 13 is 13. On the right-hand side, I have 3 times 6, which is 18. And the absolute value of 18 minus 5 is the absolute value of 13. And hey, look at that. 13 is equal to 13. That checks as well. You might have gotten stuck with the negative sign when distributing, or perhaps with this fraction. Think about the types of mistakes you might be making, if you are making any, and try and write them down. This would be a good reference for you later.